So updating variables whenever you need to change environments isn't really a good solution in my opinion. This should be done easier. Also reusing set variables uh, would be quite useful. I'm going to show you today how to do this with Postman. So over here you see I have created a, a new demo collection number three uh, which also has the, the same request as, as in the other uh, videos I have uh, created. So we have the create URL and uh, get the, the minified URL. But this time I don't have any variables defined over here. Yeah, I have the host and the created minified URL, which I'm gonna get back to in, in a minute. But these are disabled at the moment, so they aren't used. But if we navigate to the post create URL over here, you do see I'm using the host variable and it has a value. That's because I'm using environments in this case. So here on the top, you see I'm using demo, uh, demo number three environment. And I also have the same environments for production and test. Uh, you can access these environments in the, in the environments page. So when double clicking this, you see I have for the demo three environment, I have the host variable with the localhost 7071 set. Same for demo uh, number three production. I have the production URL set over here and the same for the test environment, also the test, uh, the test endpoints for this host. But you can set all kinds of uh, uh, variables over here. So new, uh, new variable and you can have a default and a secret. So the secret should be used for secrets like passwords or access keys or whatever. Uh, and these, these will be uh, dots in the UI. Useful, I'm not, I don't need this, this one over here. Uh, so back to the collections, uh, the, the create URL, and you can see uh, the host is well known. So what this API create is doing, it's setting or it's creating a, a minified URL for me and the response is accessible at a different uh, URL. So for at the get. And over here you see I have this created minified URL. And this one isn't known yet. And that's because I first have to run this piece of test script. So within Postman you can do tests like checking if the status code is 200 or and any other code. But you can also parse the response and do something with this response. So over here I'm testing, there's a response in uh, and th which is the slug. And I'm setting a collection variable created minified URL with the response slug. So whenever I'm invoking this uh, API call, this variable is set. So let's try this. So I'm pressing the send button. So I'm sending the request to my backend API and I'm getting a response. So this is the JKFG, the new uh, slug which has been created in my environment. And now when navigating to the, to the get, the minifier, you will see this one has indeed a value, the current value, because that has been set in the test script of the previous request. This is useful because you can now also run the whole collection in sequence and using the response from one request in a different request. Super useful, especially when working with large and large sets of uh, APIs and, and uh, you need to test some specific flow. I'm using this all the time uh, and uh, hope uh, you've learned something from it. Thank you and uh, see you next time.